Good afternoon, beautiful people. I'm about to take you to show you some produce growing in our yard. It volunteered itself and some things that have been here when we moved in. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you. So there's Snoopy and Princess. Stop licking her teeth, Snoopy. I don't know why he has to lick her teeth. Um, but anyway, I also have, <laughs> finally, my husband made a contraption for Stephen Hodge's birdhouse that I bought so I can actually hang it. So, um, look at these sunflowers. Look at them. They're almost as tall as our house. But <laughs> the sunflowers are growing. Let me step back and show you. I just walked through a spider web. They are huge. I can't wait for them to bloom because I'm ripping them out of there and putting something else. But anyway, so we have birdhouses. I know I get off track of what I'm telling you, but we have birdhouses and bird feeders here. And there's a birdhouse actually. Um, I'm not sure what nest, what bird built the nest in that one, but um, it did and there already flew the coop, so. And here's a bird feeder. Another bird feeder that needs to be filled up because the squirrels won't leave it alone. Um, and then, I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, it's hard. Um, let me set this down. See the bird, uh, bird house. Oh gosh. Let me see. See the bird house. Oh my gosh. I'm having a hard time trying to show you that bird house. See it? It's behind all the leaves. So, I'm not sure if any birds have utilized that this time or not. And this is a tree that broke, but I told my husband to leave the stump. I love the character. Actually, we have, let me put Stephen Hodge's birdhouse down. We have this tarp over here that was supposed to be on the it's an old grill cover. But I had a lantern. Still have a lantern in here. Of course, all the beetle bugs are, oh gosh, they're everywhere. And they get in my hair and the dog tries to eat them. But there's the lantern. Oh, I had to spray it with some neem oil. Um, but the character of this tree stump is so unique. It's hollow, and the ants, they live here. They live down in there, but I love it. I love it. And of course, it's good for the wagon wheel to lean up against there, and the vines grow all around it. I love the summer, the way it looks. Okay, I got off track. And even though this big tree here is my neighbor's tree, I might hang the birdhouse from that because it's over here in our vicinity, this side anyway. So I was thinking about maybe hanging it from there. Um, I didn't bring my, let me see, hold that thought a second. Hold on. That took a bit of time. Oh my gosh because I'm not tall enough to reach that branch to get it up there. But look, I think it looks pretty there. Let's show you, show you how back up. There's no, no nothing, no birdhouse, no feeder in that tree. So I think that looks good. It's a little crooked maybe. I'll go over here and move the cable wire. Try 
try to straighten it. Okay. But that was a clever idea that he had to put those hooks in there and just hang a cable. He's so smart. I have a smart husband. Anyway, I think I love that when I'm sitting out here at the fire pit and look over and see it. Princess, what are you eating? They eat rabbit poop all the time. It's so annoying. See the ducks? You getting some shade? You getting some shade, boys? What you doing? They're so cute because sometimes, see how they turn their head? What you doing? Huh? What you doing, baby? They're the light of my life, the joy, one of the joys of my heart. Talk to your fans. I'm sure they love you. I raised them from chicks. From little baby ducklings and they are spoiled as so they should be baby and peep what's going on honeys and look at that swing i told my husband would buy another piece of canvas whatever that stuff is that material and fix it because there's nothing wrong with the swing but when will I have time to do that? What are you boys doing? Just catching some shade, mama. Okay. So look. The birdhouse. There's Polly. Princess is catching some shade. Okay. I'm going to show you our European pear tree. Which I've done this before, I think, on another video. Okay. Let me see. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm horrible. The sun is so bright. Oh, do you see the fruit right there? Hopefully you can see it. There's fruit there. Oh, here you go. Down low. There's some fruit there. And the only way possible to keep this pear tree fruit for ourselves is to chemical treat this so no animals would eat it, but then I won't want to eat it. Oh, there's three. Three pears on one little branch. I'm praying there's one back there. <laughs> one above our head um i'm praying that god will allow some i love feeding the animals the wild animals outside so i'm just praying that god lets them save us a couple pairs there's some way up there too i'd have to get the ladder oh here's one down low um yeah it really really hard it would probably be another month before they are ripe enough to eat there's so many trees in our backyard it's like ridiculous there's these big pines that's that little end cove inside here is um, another shed I'll show you like it's not no, no big deal but there's a little shed back here and wheel barrels and whatever my husband has cages and stuff so um and then well this that old trough there i use that for um my baby peeps that i let the hen hatch one time and uh i kept it in the house in the basement and when they got ready i brought them out and uh, here's the chickens and i can't see my screen well so i hope they're in there so you can see them of course there's duck poo on the thing well you're gonna have that when you have animals what y'all doing they're still scared one two three four five for some reason i thought there were six there i was about to say where'd the sixth one come from she came back home 
but look y'all they're digging i don't know if you can see that there's a hole they dig and dig and dig they're gonna dig to china one day here comes the duckies and polly and so my husband hung up that uh wind chime I'm going to show you all, and I'm going to tell you the story of what happened to my rooster and my chickens. Oh my gosh, I was so sad. I cried for two hours. Um, but let me show you the fruit, the fruit tree, bush tree, whatever. It's a black raspberry. Look. Look at that. Those are ready. I could actually pick those now, the dark ones. God is so good. I always thank him. So there's quite a few. I always thank him for letting fruit grow. In our yard, it has sticker bushes on it though. I guess that's why they're still here and the animals haven't eaten them. Oh my, look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna eat it just like that much you now. Oh the only thing I don't like oh see there's some under here too. The only thing I don't like about raspberries, there's some back there. And the beetles. Look at how bad the beetles are. They're everywhere. But the only thing I don't like about the black raspberry oh my gosh look at that can you see that all those beetles having a feast on these i guess they have to eat too but anyway um the black raspberries i don't like the seeds but i love love the fruit and this here this tree is an apple tree um it's not doing so well it needs to be trimmed the apples that have came up on there already are gone from the squirrels. And there's the duck house. And then the hen house. We're going to go in here. I'm going to show y'all what happened and tell you what happened. So every night, hi babies. Hi, babies. I don't have anything. I already gave them their treat and put their scratch grain down so they could go around. And of course, they have eaten the whole watermelon. There's the rest of the rind. See? <laughs> but anyway, this is their house. I had that tail because I was cuddling the one hen who got hurt. And where is she at? She's smart. She's over here under the tree getting shade. But she got hurt from the fox. She had a small bite on her and she's recovering. I put peroxide on her and she's doing pretty good. Um, but I'm gonna show you what happened. This is so horrible. This fence back here is the only thing that separates my chickens from the wildlife. Look, they think they're getting a treat. Let me see if you laid an egg. You know they love eating their own eggs. On the dust. Okay, let's see. There's an egg in there. You can give them their eggs. I gotta clean this thing out. You can give them their eggs. They're good for them. The shell and everything. It's so good for your your hens. Oh look, did you miss out? No more, baby girl. Well, anyway, my husband fixed the light, so it'll come on. This fence is the only thing that keeps my chickens supposed to keep them safe. At night, they do go in their house. What happened was a fox dug a hole here and got in. And the night that I let my chickens stay out that night, he got in and got three chickens and the rooster had a fight. He fought all night and it was so sad. And we had to put the rooster down because my husband was thinking he might have been suffering. So, we think we did the right thing. But anyway, that's what happens if the fox tries to come in now. But he did try to dig that hole after 
that was the original hole he got through. He or they, there might have been more than one. They came back again and tried to dig here. So we, um, I gotta tell you something about the law of attraction too, but look at all this. This is, I had to put the um, log there to keep them. And then they dug here, here, all the way down. And they look like they start to dig there. So I'm gonna have to get another thing for there. But I told my husband I wanted an electric fence and he said I was talking at my butt because he didn't think that we could afford an electric fence. I know, we're gonna protect you. Um, so I was telling my sister-in-law who works on the farm about it. Um, and she said that a guy has one at work because she must have been telling him about what happened. So, uh-huh. Oh, listen to her. Yeah. She's, she's two years old, that chicken. She's two. Um, anyway, this door here, usually they go in and at night and then I shut that inner door. See that one? And then they're safe. Well, a couple of nights they didn't want to go in, so I left them out. No, no big deal. Nothing happened. Well, then, <laughs> hi, babies. I see you. I see you. Well, then, the one night, there was, was another night. It was about three nights total that I let them stay out, didn't lock the door because they were out late. And I was like, okay. And they normally go in. Something said, which had to be the Holy Spirit or an angel, you know, get the rake, there's the rake, and chase the rooster and the chicks in. Well, I felt like a bad parent by forcing them to go in, so I just let them, I said, okay, you guys can stay out. Well, the next day, this whole thing here, their whole yard, from that end down there all the way over here, nothing but feathers everywhere. Five babies survived out of nine. So it was a sad morning. I cried for two hours. I know it's ridiculous. People think I'm ridiculous. To me, I'm not ridiculous. I don't know it's ridiculous. I'm saying some people think it's ridiculous. But they're my babies. And I know people eat chicken and people raise them to eat them. But I raise mine. They're my pets and they give me eggs. So I was really, really devastated and blaming myself because I didn't make them go in. So every night I chase them in, I make sure they go in and hopefully that fox won't get in and dig underneath their coop because there's like, I don't know if you can see it, underneath their run of their coop, there's a little, little spaces under there that he could start to dig. So I just check it every day, a couple times a day to make sure they're safe and uh that's that oh let me see if i can show you the other apple tree and then oh this is i think i've shown you this is dragging on video um this is the black walnut tree that got knocked over by the wind and look there's beetle bugs on it i don't want them eating my walnut tree this bad boy has been in here for this is the third season and it keeps you know doing well during the summer but this looks horrible because of what happened with the wind the other day and don't look at this horrible garden i've been so busy i haven't been able to get out here and do anything but we have this and i don't know if it's squash or what i have to look it up but we have our tomato plants and our pepper plants and of course the beetles are trying to be over here and they have eaten the leaves gets on my nerves my husband planted them i told him what to do and i'll tell you what you should do um you should take off all the branches from the middle of the tomato plant down and then you're supposed to plant it down deep with an egg, crack a raw egg in there and it will make it grow better. Um, <laughs> look, they're over at their fun. 
that duck does not let the other duck in the pool. He's selfish. These bushes I've let grow out of control just for privacy on our deck. But here's our blackberry. Growing very well. Of course, beetle bugs are trying to be on that too. Soon, I will have... Oh, my daughter is calling FaceTime. I have to call you back because I have to video you all back. Okay, here we are. To be continued. This is a crab apple tree, which you can eat crab apples. People say you can't, but they're bitter. But look at all the crab apples. Hopefully you can see them. There's a lot of them on there. But of course the beetles, they're everywhere. June beetles, I guess. Um, this is the apple tree, the American apple tree. I can't see if you can see it but all the apples are gone. The, the squirrels have eaten them when they were raw and so did my dog when they thought, oh, there's one right there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see, it's so hard for me to see because it's so bright out here. See it? It's right in the middle of the screen. So there is one left. There might be more that I just can't see. All right, y'all. Um, and look at Princess, um, the little fat stomach, she eats everything, but, um, I wanted to tell you a funny, I was at my granddaughter's graduation, and, uh, I was waving to her and blowing her kisses, and she was sitting next to a boy, and I guess the boy thought I was blowing him kisses. And waving at him. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. You should have seen the looks this little boy was giving me. He was like in shock. Like, I can't believe this old woman's like waving to me and stuff. So at the end, I couldn't wait. Look, she's eating an apple. Part of an apple. I couldn't wait at the end to be able to go to Ruthie so he would know I wasn't being flirtatious with him. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so funny. Um... I have more stories for you, but you see over there, uh, my husband and my anniversary was yesterday, so we're going to have crabs today, uh, they're in the bag, I just put the umbrella up, we're going to get some drinks and have crabs outside and go swimming. This heat, y'all, though, it makes me feel sick, like nauseous, but Princess, say bye, say bye, Princess. Say bye. Princess, what you got to say? You usually talk for me. Princess, what happened? Huh? She said you're bugging me. That's what happened. Silly goose. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. May God bless and keep you and yours. Look at little Snoopy over there. Snoopy. <laughs> See him on the deck. <laughs> He's so cute. So may God bless you and keep you in yours. And until the next video, you be blessed and take care of yourselves. Bye.